Hello, this is High Templar. Welcome back to my Total War Rome 2 Legendary Epirus campaign. I was about to say Warhammer. We are some 60 turns in, and as you can see, this entire swath of land was a mistake, truly. I didn't want it to go there, I just wanted to get the iron and uh, I plunged myself into war because of uh, Sweaty and then the other guys joined in so this is the situation here at this place we have eliminated uh, Carthage so it uh, doesn't look so bad if you look at who likes us and who doesn't let's quickly go back Oh yeah, the political affiliations is not important at this point. So if you look at diplomatic status, we are only at war with those people. Although, not everybody exactly like us here. But yeah, only of our enemies, only those guys are left. Politically, we are stable, we have 0% leave, uh, little risk of secession, I just pay those guys a bit. We control 80% of the Senate still. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Disciple of Zeus has a sizable... Uh, yeah, there is a few of them here, no doubt about it. Perus has uh, started a new faction, that is a problem, but it should not be that much of a big deal. Here we have what's left of Swaby. I think we just gonna attack them and then push towards those guys with two armies, this army in support. They are a bit damaged. I just defended from this army. I've taken few more losses that I would like to on those two units. I haven't played uh, Rome in uh, some time and I'm a bit rusty. I do want for those guys to stay put. I'm going to attack this. This Swaby army is actually pretty powerful still. Even after storming my city. Which makes me rethink my plan. I will strike here and then retreat. I don't want to do double armies here, there is no point in it, if you see what those guys have. I should be able to do, just do a lot of damage for, to them. The most problematic would be their javelins, but we should be fine. I'm going to put my ballistas here and move them forward. As usual, I'll my Agrarians will be supporting. You will stay put here. My pikes.
Hoplites will be here, I will move them soon enough. My general will be hidden with my cavalry. Let's start battle and start with moving pikes where I truly want them. They are already moving, so this would be quite nice. Who do I want to kill? Let's try to kill those guys first. Since there is a one They discover those units, we will see what they will do about it. Let's move here. Trees. Please do not. They do want to move behind me. Now this should be Let's charge them with my shock half. He's doing the attacking. These Vodan spears. Let's retreat from here. And that is it. All right, you nines, trees. I do not want to for anybody more to die. Yeah, yeah, you guys also. That is quite a few kills.
The enemy general is dead. Only now? That is surprising that they survived for such a long time. There is three of those guys. Absolutely need to destroy those guys here. Yes, kill those guys here. Where is the rest of those guys? Already dead? I should be able to kill enough. I lost one guy with my general unit. Quite frankly, I'm not sure if he wasn't dead before that. But charging depleted Voda Spears unit it's not a bad idea when they are moving. It's a very good unit, anti cavalry and all. But. Like, Agema Spears wouldn't be able to just kill it. But not those guys. I think that would be it. Let's see, I lost 14 guys. Not kills on the ballistas, obviously, on the cavalry, they did a lot. And this is it. That's all she wrote. We are going to kill the captives. Yeah, so... I can move and support. And attack them. Oh, you leveled. Very nice. So I can go for soldier, which will mean more melee attack, more shots per minute, more charge bonus. Which is quite a good idea with this army. Yes, more damage. Sounds like fun as well, but... 7th level, 8th level, 9th level, 10th level, yeah, let's do that. This is Reneus. Reneus is still in my army. Now, I just think we could do without a resolve no, here. I don't think well, my cavalry will be suffering too many losses. Just to speed up the game. Yeah, I mean, a bit, but fine. Okay, and we are going to again kill the captives. You are going to go back here to replenish. It's not a great replenish, but it's something. You are going to move forward and look like a juicy target. Great. What was that? Infantry recruitments, bonuses and such. wonder if it's working, because that would be truly awesome. We will build a recruitment building here, and we'll see what will come out of that. Here is our main recruitment province, Magna Grisha. Well, two really.
All right, so I have 23,000 food is okay -ish. Do I have any more armies? Do I have something to kill? Not at this time it would seem. That is a lot of Massilians. It remains to be seen how powerful either are they really. Obviously we will build one outskirts. And two outskirts. That upgrade shouldn't be a problem anymore. Let's fix that. Let's build here some of this and this. Carol is doing now very well. Those upgrades will work very nicely right about now. This place is going to hell, but we are upgrading. Manufacturing, mining industry. Yeah, I, I think we'll just destroy it and build something, something we like. Obviously more food, so it's nice. And I need more public order. Five K left, so only important targets. Like this farm and Livestock would be working wonders. Those two as well. Should I finally tax it? I think we will leave it just to get some additional food which will give us growth and unit replenishment. For now at least. Italia is doing splendidly. This place is doing very well. We might upgrade that. It will not affect our food. Oh yeah, I was... sorry, I was recruiting an army, wasn't, wasn't I? Um, so that means I will have to not upgrade that, after all. We were still recruiting like crazy here. So 11 units here, let's uh, recruit two more pikes. Two arrow spears might be a mistake, but maybe I wish to be fine. Two Tarentines, three Thessalians, 
I have five pikes, right? And I have two two arrows. I'm going to take a hoplite. I have three Thessalians, right? Yeah. That is enough of a force, I reckon, when it comes to the cavalry. More, I would be hard pressed to use it correctly. Five pikes should be enough as well for the most parts. I figure two hoplites. They are very useful and two arrows are nice, but they are fragile as well. The bonus versus large is super handy, but they are not that heavy. If you charge them with anything heavier than Thessalians, they are going to die like immediately, unfortunately. And I will go east, and that would mean more heavy units. Hoplites are very good for that. So yes, for this army only four uh, Agrarians and single Slinger. More powerful he infantry corps and enough of cavalry to really push it. And we will get another army. Who are you, my son? You are Atis. Fine. Next turn. I might start recruiting another, yet another army right here because I can. My army cap has increased. Where is it? Oh, I already have 10, 10 out of 10. Let's see if everything is actually recruited. Oh, you leveled. No. Nice, nice, very nice. You're the new girl. You no longer have to run here. This is also a pretty nice army. Only single hoplite. But very nice cab. Lots of agrarians. Two tueros. I would like to have royal guards instead of those pikes. But oh well. And Hellenic Royal Cuff instead of Thessalians, but Thessalians are extremely good for their price. I don't know what that is, but I'm not really afraid. That is 40 units, let's hide in Ariminum. And attack them by an are you from my family? Yes you are. Huh. Interesting. Who are you? So, no, no, exactly, you are staying here, you moved, that's great, you moved, you are replenishing slowly, 
you are gaining money like crazy. Oh, so that army is supposed to go right there and attack Egypt. How strong I am in Africa? I have one army here. I can have another army. Yeah, I think two armies should be able to pacify everything here. It is an honor to serve. Yes. Although first I need to pacify a rebellion, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is I will dog this fleet. Licorice is my family. Yes. I'm going to dog this fleet in the bottom. With support of this fleet. And I will embed you, I think. In Karkadash. I will still have a rebellion, but just to be sure. No, I just leave it like that. It's uh, it's winter, so yeah. In the summer, people might feel better. I do want to push that rebellion. While I do have good defenses. So I'm going to fleet? No. Just outside of the city. And he will be here supporting this place very well. So if I have two armies in Africa, I will be able to control Africa and push north, which means I can use this army and go to Here, take Siren and with one army and then support with another one. So we are going to move. Recruit again with two pikes, two hoplites, two tarentines and three Thessalians. And then we will move to Egypt. And I think I actually can already attack how well the Egypt is doing. Not very well it would seem. I have a war with almost everybody. Let's attack them and we will... This is very decent army when it comes to they are docked what's the garrison in Serene? yeah i'm going to murder them with five slingers i should be able to inflict significant losses on those men if I play my cards, my cards right, that is. And then I will move. So this army will attack in a moment. I just need to make sure that I have no other armies to move. You can move, but why are you here? Because I was afraid of those guys. There is three of them. For 
I feel safer in the city here. It's a problem. It really is a problem here. I will have to wrap up campaign in north and push south because that just too many guys right there. Oh, I am recruiting here. Interesting. Alright, that means I have to cancel some expenses. I mean, I don't have to, but I will. Nine K should be enough. More than enough. We hunger for battle. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six spikes and two tueras. One Thessalian. There is a hoplite missing in here for sure. Two Tarentines. Two Thessalians. Two Slingers. An Agrarian. Less skirmish power that I usually have. This army will move north, recruit a Ballista in Navisos and be used to secure... Well, whatever. Maybe it won't, it would not be moved north. Maybe it would just stay here. This army is pretty darn powerful. I can have Archer's Pantheras just raining death, but that's not my style really. I ram a lot and those cheap units here are working perfect for that. I think that fleet would be enough to sing well most things really. Can I get something cheap here? Oh. You can never have too few of those. They have ship health of 644. Nice missile damage. Improved uh, holes. This fleet should do fine. Dolon is from my family. Yes, he is. Very well. Let's do him a morale. Oh, that was Dolon. Fine. You already have authority. So, yeah. If uh, those guys would start to be less friendly, I should be able to defeat them. 
This is a secondary army which should be also more than capable of taking out anybody. I don't want to have so many armies just blocking enemy, but here we are. So I'm going to attack and we will end this episode. Thank you for watching, hope you like it. If you did, press like, comment if you will and see my other videos. Bye.